Yeah, it will. Um, going into a long season, you know, it's a long season. People get banged up and fatigue takes soul and, you know, get heavy legs. It's, it's good to always have a spill guy, you know, to come in. And and it's, and it's just as effective as the first guy. So it, it's very effective. It, it, it goes a long way. Post two Jason, still looking for starting five. Do you believe you're one of them? Uh, I don't know. We'll find out game <laughs> one. You know, we'll find out game one. You, I don't know. What you looking for? Uh, just consistency, you know, who can do it day to day, you know, keep doing the right things day to day. That's what he's looking for. And so, like you said, I don't know what the starting five is going to be yet. I don't, I can't tell you, but the first game, we'll, we'll all find out. Tate Jones, a guy that's moving up the depth chart as soon as I got some starting reps uh, with the ones I. How's he doing? He's doing great. Uh, young kid, you know, has a good head on his shoulders, confident, confident in himself, and he goes out there and he just plays, man. He doesn't let it overwhelm him coming out of high school. And, you know, I, I, I'm proud of that kid, man. He, he came out and he balled. Really, he, he's a really good player. Is he coming along mentally as well? You got the physical side of that. Yeah. Like. No, yeah, he, I, he has it down. I feel like he's picked it up faster than I did coming out, <laughs> you know, coming out of junior college, and he, he has it down, man. He, he has it down packed. He knows he makes the right calls. You know, he, he knows what guy he needs to pick up. So, I mean, yeah, that kid, he's having a good, having a good uh, fall camp. So, when a freshman like that makes a call to a senior, you got that guy, is it kind of like, yeah, whatever you say? <laughs> I mean, he's the center. I mean, I can't, <laughs> I, you know, I can't, I can't do that. I can't make a call like that from my position. He's the center. So, you know, he has eyes everywhere. You can see left and right. So, I, it doesn't bother me, you know. It's, I, I trust my teammates. So. You know, just having knowing that I can know he can make the right calls, that's fine with me. I but, have confidence in him. But, but he's right most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Growing up, did you have a favorite NFL offensive lineman that you kind of emulated or, or looked up to? Nah, no, not really. No, I did, I was more of a baseball player. I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't play football or think about football <laughs> for a long time. So, I mean, not really, honestly. I just you know try to pick it up as I go. Yeah who's, your ba yeah, who's your baseball idol? Oh, man, when I was a kid, Nick Swisher, when he played for the A's, I feel like that was one of my favorite players. You know, everybody says A-Rod and Derek Jeter, but no, nah, Nick Swisher, he was a grinder, man. He was grinding. So I like, I like him. <laughs> Did you just switch to football because you were getting so big, so you decided you had to switch um, sports? Or like no, I just felt like uh, all my friends were doing it, and I just wanted to try it out. And, you know, I guess year after year, you get a little bit better at it. So I, I stuck with it, man. Yeah. Talk about your relationship with Kyle Johnson. You guys seem to form quite the tandem on the left side of that offensive line. Talk about your, your relationship with him. Man, that's Kyle's my road dog, man. Like last year, we were both at right guard, right, right mm -hmm. tackle, and you know, I, I have more experience and more reps with him by my side than I feel like anybody else. And so, me and Kyle, we just have a natural chemistry. So it's Kyle. That's my guy, man. I love Kyle. That's my dude. <laughs> the tight ends have been, you know, the the. Traditional tight ends are, mm -hmm. are playing hand at, hand on the ground, doing more blocking schemes. As far as what they contribute to it, the blocking schemes and what what do you see from them? Um, well, I mean, you have Doug Mean in there, but he can give. Like we kind of go back and forth about you know who to block sometimes because we don't have like you said we don't have that chemistry. But I mean, once when he's in there, I'm I'm confident and I'm coming in confident in him that he can make the right play, you know, block the right guy. It's because it's all based off of his own concept. So. If, why we can really stick together, keep our heads together, and block the right guys, I and mean, we're, we're going to be fine. I feel like they contribute a lot to us, and you know they help us out a lot, giving that extra blocking in there, and stop defenses from trying to blitz us all the time, cause, just because we have five, and now we have six. So I feel like it's pretty good.